winged creature of terror becomes Dracula's most fearsome new ally. Oldie but goodie, you might say. So for decades, filmmakers have convinced us that bats are really blood-sucking vampires in disguise. You see them everywhere around Halloween, but they're not really as scary as the holiday makes them out to be. They're actually very helpful. That's why the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is trying to save them with a $100,000 challenge. A disease is killing millions of bats, and the Jacksonville Zoo is partnering with FWC to fight it. News for Jacks reporter Jennifer Reddy is joining us live this morning. So, Jen, what's their plan? Good morning. This is a joint effort down through the state with FWC, and this is their effort to make sure that they know where these bats are living if there ever is a disease that makes its way into the state of Florida because they do play such a vital role in our ecosystem. In the dark of night, when most of us are sleeping, bats are out flying, looking for insects to eat. Bats use echolocation to find their way around in the dark. They are not blind. Donna Bear works with bats at the Jacksonville Zoo, where they are teaming up with Florida Fish and Wildlife to protect bats in the state from white nose syndrome, a fungus in several surrounding states that is known to devastate bat populations. And you said it. The zoo is using this acoustic monitoring device to record the sounds bats make at night. This is a call captured and slowed down because humans can't hear the high frequency. When you see the, the sonogram, you can determine what type of bat it is. You can't determine individuals, but you can determine species and where they're at and what time you got that call. Bayer says this information will help them know how and where to address the disease if it ever makes its way into the state. <laughs> Florida currently has 13 bat species, which help with pest control because they eat the insects. Officials will be collecting this data statewide. It is a project that will take several years to complete. Jennifer Reddy, Channel 4, The Local Station.